Let's take a look at this base app. Start with this, just Adam dot to open up the current directory and an editor. One good route into a new application is to look at the data model that's in DB schema. All right, well, let's take a look at this. We've got two tables, messages and users. And then we can see that each message has a content field, text field, and then an integer linking it to the users. Each user has a username, password digest, and then the magic columns created at and updated at. That corresponds to these data models. So we've got messages here, and then user ID indexes into the users. And otherwise, it's just a standard user model. Let's take a look at that user model. This might look familiar from the Ruby on Rails tutorial. It's basically the same. It's got a little bit simpler design. And instead of using an email, it just has a username. And the regular expression here says it has to be word characters. So letters, numbers, and underscores. Take a look at the message model. You can see we've got belongs to user. There's a validation on the content. And then there's a named scope, scope for display. We're going to say we're going to order these messages by when they were created and only pull out the last 50 from the database. So that's to prevent the issue of uh, having, say, a thousand messages all being loaded at once. And as I mentioned before, there's an association between messages and users. The user ID column indicates the ID of the corresponding user.